Step into a world of ancient valor and unyielding courage with our mesmerizing YouTube audiobook on Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry. As you press play, you'll be transported to a realm where legendary warriors tread, and the echoes of their heroic deeds resonate through the ages. In this immersive audio experience, we invite you to explore the epic sagas that have captivated hearts for centuries. Beowulf's mighty clashes with monstrous foes, the stirring battle of Malden, and the timeless adventures of heroic champions await your eager ears. Through the artful narration, you'll be drawn into a tapestry of battles won and lost, honor defended, and the indomitable spirit of heroism. With each meticulously pronounced word, you'll journey through the annals of time, discovering the essence of Anglo-Saxon society, the valor, kinship, and unbreakable bonds that forged these mighty tales. The resonance of Old English, adorned with powerful metaphors and evocative imagery, will carry you across the landscapes of the past. Join us on this captivating odyssey into the heart of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry. As you listen, you'll witness the bravery of warriors who faced adversity with unwavering resolve and the enduring legacy they left behind. To embark on this literary adventure and explore the tapestry of heroic tales, make sure to subscribe to our channel, English Poetry. By subscribing, you'll stay connected to the rich tapestry of English literature and embark on journeys through time, culture, and the essence of human spirit. Prepare to be captivated, subscribe now, and let the epic tales of heroism come alive in your imagination. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, unveiling the valor of an age. Amidst the windswept moors and towering mead halls of early medieval England, a captivating genre of literature emerged that would forever immortalize the valor and honor of its people. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of a culture forged in the crucible of battle, a literary legacy that transports us to an era where warriors carved the names in the annals of history. At the heart of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry lies the epic masterpiece, Beowulf. Composed in Old English, this heroic saga narrates the daring exploits of Beowulf, a Geatish warrior who journeys to the aid of the Danish king, Hrothgar, facing formidable foes like the monstrous Grendel and the fearsome dragon. Through a mesmerizing blend of vivid imagery, grand battles, and timeless themes of honor and fate, Beowulf offers an unflinching glimpse into the virtues cherished by the Anglo-Saxons. The heroic ethos depicted in these verses is characterized by unwavering courage, loyalty to kin and lord, and the unshakable commitment to upholding one's reputation. Warriors, often referred to as thanes, engaged in battles not merely for personal gain but for the glory of their lord and the preservation of their people. The Mead Hall, such as here at in Beowulf, served as the heart of the warrior culture, a place of feasting, camaraderie, and the exchange of heroic tales. The rhythm and alliterative structure of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry were not mere poetic devices, they mirrored the very cadence of life and the heartbeat of the battlefield. The poetry's oral tradition, passed down through generations by skilled scops bards, encapsulated the collective memory of a society shaped by its struggles and triumphs. These recitations, often accompanied by the music of harps, resonated in mead halls and gatherings, immortalizing the valorous deeds of heroes. Heroic poetry was not limited to the lofty exploits of kings and warriors. The Battle of Malden, another renowned work, commemorates a historical event, a battle between English forces and Viking invaders. This elegiac poem pays homage to the fallen warriors, honoring their sacrifice and underlining the values of courage and loyalty even in the face of defeat. The world of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is also inhabited by powerful women who, despite existing on the periphery, wielded significant influence. In The Wife's Lament, a haunting elegy, a woman laments her separation from her lord, offering a poignant reflection on love, loyalty, and exile. This portrayal underscores the nuanced roles that women played in a society where the threads of heroism were woven. These heroic narratives, while rooted in the Anglo-Saxon past, have left an enduring mark on literature and culture. Their echoes can be heard in later works such as the Middle English Romance, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, and even contemporary epic fantasies. The themes of heroism, loyalty, and the struggle between good and evil continue to resonate, 
demonstrating the timeless relevance of these tales. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is not merely a collection of stories, it is a mirror that reflects the ideals, aspirations, and values of a people who sought to carve a legacy in the annals of time. It invites us to bear witness to the thunderous clash of swords, the resounding echoes of Mead Hall boasts, and the enduring flame of valor that burned bright in the hearts of warriors. As we immerse ourselves in these verses, we bridge the gap between ages, embracing the heroic spirit that unites humanity across the ages. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, a glimpse into a world of glory and sacrifice. Within the verses of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we uncover not only tales of physical prowess but also intricate webs of honor, loyalty, and destiny. The warriors who populate these narratives are not one-dimensional figures, they're complex individuals shaped by the values of their society. The concept of weird, the intricate web of fate, looms large, underscoring the fatalistic worldview that embraced both triumph and tragedy. The Mead Hall, often depicted as a place of celebration and camaraderie, also serves as a stage for the machinations of power and the dynamics of lordship. The relationship between lord and retainer is a central theme, characterized by mutual obligations and the exchange of treasure and protection. These bonds of loyalty were the bedrock of Anglo-Saxon society, and they find vivid expression in the heroic poetry's tapestry. While battles and conquests are prominent, moments of introspection and vulnerability punctuate the narratives. The Wanderer, and, The Seafarer, are introspective poems that delve into the psyche of the warrior in times of solitude and exile. Through these verses, we glimpse the internal struggles of individuals whose lives are intertwined with the call of the sea and the harsh realities of existence. The heroic poetry is not confined to historical accuracy, it is also a realm of myth and legend. Figures like Sigamund and Finn, whose exploits are recounted within the poems, blur the lines between history and myth, blurring the boundaries between reality and imagination. These mythical elements add a layer of enchantment to the narratives, inviting us into a world where the extraordinary and the mundane coexist. The rhythm and oral delivery of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry encompass a performative aspect that cannot be overlooked. The recitations of Scots, who breathed life into these verses through their skillful delivery, transformed the act of storytelling into a captivating experience. The orality of the tradition brings a dynamic element to the poetry, inviting audience engagement and interaction. As we traverse the landscapes of these poems, we encounter echoes of cultural rituals and beliefs. The burial rites described in Beowulf, and other works provide insights into the reverence for the dead and the spiritual dimensions that informed Anglo-Saxon customs. These verses illuminate the intersections between the mortal realm and the realm of the divine. The heroic poetry's influence extended beyond the confines of England. The Vikings, who shared a cultural nexus with the Anglo-Saxons, also had their own rich tradition of heroic poetry. This interplay of cultural exchange is evident in the echoes of themes, motifs, and even characters that traverse the seas and find a home in the poetic narratives. In embracing the intricacies of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we embark on a voyage that goes beyond the battles and boasts. We explore the contours of human experience, the triumphs that inspire, the losses that humble, and the unbreakable threads that bind individuals to their kin, lord, and destiny. These verses stand as a bridge connecting us to a bygone era, inviting us to become modern scops, breathing life into ancient words and carrying the legacy of heroes into the future. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, illuminating the cultural fabric. As we delve deeper into the realm of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we unearth a treasure trove of linguistic ingenuity. The use of kennings, metaphorical expressions, adds layers of meaning and richness to the verses. Warriors are referred to as battle flames, and the sea as the whale road, creating a tapestry of imagery that transcends the literal and invites us to explore the symbolic resonance of words. The Mead Hall, often depicted as a bastion of camaraderie, also serves as a microcosm of society. These gatherings were not only occasions for feasting and boasting but also platforms for political negotiation, storytelling, and the performance of cultural identity. 
The Mead Hall's significance extends beyond a physical space, it embodies the essence of community and shared experience. In Beowulf and other heroic narratives, the monsters and adversaries are more than mere antagonists. They symbolize forces of chaos and darkness that threaten the social order. The battles between heroes and monsters are battles between order and chaos, illustrating the Anglo-Saxons' yearning for stability and the triumph of virtue over malevolence. The legacy of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry lives on not only in literature but also in the realm of visual arts. Illuminated manuscripts and carvings showcase scenes from these narratives, creating a visual counterpart to the poetic verses. These depictions offer insights into the medieval aesthetic and the ways in which the poetry found expression beyond the written word. The heroic poetry's fascination with material wealth reflects the socio-economic realities of the time. The exchange of gifts, the accumulation of treasure, and the distribution of wealth were integral to the social fabric. These themes reflect the values of reciprocity and generosity that governed the relationships between lords and retainers. The heroic poetry's themes of heroism and sacrifice resonate with the universal human experience. As we engage with these verses, we find ourselves pondering the nature of heroism in our own lives and the choices we make in the face of challenges. The heroes of these narratives become mirrors through which we contemplate our own virtues and ideals. The influence of Christianity on Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is a topic of scholarly inquiry. While the heroic ethos is rooted in pre-Christian warrior culture, Christian elements are interwoven, reflecting the evolving spiritual landscape. The tension between pagan and Christian worldviews adds a layer of complexity to the narratives, inviting us to explore the interplay of faith and tradition. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we encounter not only the deeds of warriors but also the voices of a diverse society. The poems offer glimpses into the lives of various social strata, from kings and warriors to outcasts and exiles. This inclusivity underscores the poetry's role as a mirror that reflects the breadth of human experience. Ultimately, Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is a living testament to the resilience of a culture and the enduring power of storytelling. As we immerse ourselves in these verses, we become voyagers through time, voyaging alongside heroes who face challenges with valor and embraced a code of honor that continues to resonate. The legacy of these epic narratives extends an invitation, a call to honor, to question, and to celebrate the heroic spirit that beats within every human heart. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, threads of legacy and inspiration. Venturing further into the realm of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we encounter a mosaic of regional diversity within the narratives. These poems offer glimpses into the various Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, each with its own history, cultural nuances, and heroic traditions. From the mighty Geats to the valiant Danes, the hero's exploits reflect the vibrant tapestry of a people united by language and aspiration. The poetic conventions of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry go beyond rhythm and alliteration. The use of epithets, descriptive phrases attached to characters' names, adds a layer of characterization and reinforces their attributes. These epithets serve as verbal markers, shaping our perception of the heroes and their roles within the narrative. The concept of comitatus, the bond between lord and retainer, permeates the heroic poetry. This relationship extends beyond mere fealty, it encompasses mutual trust, protection, and shared values. The hero's loyalty to his lord is not blind obedience but a testament to the reciprocal nature of their alliance. The theme of revenge, exemplified in the poem, The Battle of Finsburg, underscores the importance of honor and the concept of Wergild, blood price, in Anglo-Saxon society. Vendettas and the settling of scores were intrinsic to the warrior culture, reflecting the delicate balance between maintaining social order and seeking retribution. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is not confined to the written word, it embraces the performative aspect of language. The act of recitation, accompanied by gestures and intonation, brought these verses to life in mead halls and gatherings. The Scots' skillful delivery created an immersive experience, transporting the audience to the heart of battles and heroic feats. 
In exploring the heroic poetry, we encounter moments of vulnerability and introspection that humanize the heroes. These glimpses into their inner thoughts and doubts add depth and relatability to the characters. The heroes, despite their extraordinary deeds, grapple with emotions and uncertainties that resonate with the complexities of human nature. The poetic devices used in Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry contribute to the intricate layers of meaning within the verses. The juxtaposition of light and darkness, life and death, underscores the dualities that define human existence. These contrasting elements create a chiaroscuro effect that amplifies the themes of heroism and sacrifice. The elegiac tone of some heroic poems, such as, The Wife's Lament, and, The Ruin, invites contemplation on the transience of human endeavors. These verses evoke a sense of melancholy and reflect on the impermanence of human achievements, prompting us to ponder the enduring significance of our actions in the face of time's relentless march. As we traverse the expanse of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we engage with not only the valorous deeds but also the enduring impact of these narratives. Their influence extends to modern literature, film, and art, where echoes of heroism continue to reverberate. These verses inspire us to confront challenges with bravery, forge unbreakable bonds of camaraderie, and carve our own paths of honor in the epic journey of life. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, unveiling hidden depths. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we uncover a fascinating exploration of gender roles and relationships. While the genre often centers around male warriors, the presence of strong and multifaceted women is evident. Queens like Wealthio in Beowulf and the formidable Grendel's mother challenge traditional expectations, asserting their agency and influence. The concept of identity, both personal and cultural, is woven intricately into the heroic narratives. Heroes bear names that carry meanings and histories, echoing their lineage and attributes. These names serve as badges of honor, and the act of naming becomes a symbolic assertion of one's identity in a world defined by reputation. The portrayal of nature in Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is not merely a backdrop, it often mirrors the human experience and emotions. Landscapes and natural elements become allegorical expressions of joy, sorrow, and turmoil. The sea, for instance, reflects the hero's journeys and the uncertainty that accompanies their quests. The motif of the heroic journey, a common archetype in world literature, finds resonance in these verses. Heroes embark on physical and spiritual quests, facing trials and encountering mentors, monsters, and thresholds. These journeys are not only about external conquests but also internal growth and transformation. The theme of fate, often depicted as an inescapable force, raises questions about agency and predestination. Heroes navigate the intricate dance between free will and destiny, grappling with the tension between shaping their own paths and succumbing to the whims of the fates. This philosophical exploration adds layers of complexity to the narratives. While the heroic poetry exalts physical prowess, it also celebrates intellectual and artistic achievements. The hero's ability to compose and recite intricate verses, known as, flitting, is revered. This blending of martial and poetic skills underscores the multifaceted nature of heroism and the breadth of talents valued by society. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is a testament to the power of memory in storytelling. The Scops' role as the keepers of these narratives highlights the importance of preserving cultural heritage through oral tradition. The act of reciting these verses becomes a sacred duty, a bridge that connects generations and safeguards the legacy of heroes. Exploring the heroic poetry invites us to confront the visceral reality of mortality. Battles and glory are inevitably entwined with the specter of death. The elegiac overtones of these verses remind us of the impermanence of life and challenge us to contemplate the legacy we leave behind in the hearts of those who come after. In the vast tapestry of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we are reminded that heroism is not confined to the battlefield. Acts of compassion, loyalty, and sacrifice, both grand and subtle, also define the heroes. These acts embody the code of honor that reverberates through the poetry, 
serving as a moral compass that continues to guide our own journeys through the tapestry of existence. As we continue our voyage through the tapestry of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we uncover the seeds of cultural evolution sown within the verses. The interplay of pagan and Christian influences is not only evident in the thematic elements but also in the very language of the poetry. The duality of belief systems creates a fascinating tension that reflects the shifting cultural landscape of the time. The poetry's portrayal of monsters and supernatural beings goes beyond the realm of the fantastical, it serves as a mirror that reflects societal fears and anxieties. Grendel and his kin, embodying chaos and darkness, can be seen as embodiments of the external threats that the Anglo-Saxons faced, from Viking invasions to internal strife. The heroic poetry also offers glimpses into the material culture of the Anglo-Saxons. The detailed descriptions of weaponry, armor, and treasures provide insights into the craftsmanship and resources of the era. These references offer a window into the tangible artifacts that defined the warrior culture and contributed to the hero's identities. The relationship between language and power is a theme that resonates within the heroic poetry. The act of boasting, a poetic tradition in itself, is not mere vanity but a strategic assertion of one's identity and prowess. Boasts function as performative acts that solidify reputations and contribute to the construction of heroic legacies. The heroic poetry's use of the supernatural invites contemplation on the boundaries between the known and the unknown. The hero's encounters with otherworldly beings challenge their understanding of reality, inviting us to explore the mysteries that lie beyond the realm of the mundane and the familiar. Within the heroic poetry, we witness instances of tragic flaws and errors in judgment that humanize the heroes. These imperfections add depth and relatability to the characters, reminding us that heroism does not equate to invulnerability. The hero's struggles and failures serve as cautionary tales and prompts for self-reflection. As we traverse the tapestry of heroic poetry, we encounter the concept of legacy in multifaceted ways. Heroes strive not only for personal renown but also for the preservation of their people's memory. The carving of one's name into history, whether through heroic deeds or poetic verses, becomes a form of immortality in a world where mortality is inevitable. The poetic conventions of the heroic poetry, including formulaic phrases and recurring themes, form a shared cultural language that binds the Anglo-Saxons across time and space. This language serves as a connective thread that weaves together the diverse strands of a people's experiences, reminding us that even in the face of change, certain aspects of human identity remain enduring. In our exploration of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we come to realize that these verses are not relics of a bygone era, they are living conduits that carry the essence of a people's triumphs, struggles, and aspirations. As we engage with these narratives, we become witnesses to the evolution of a culture and find ourselves enmeshed in a dialogue that bridges the chasm between centuries, offering a glimpse into the profound journey of a society and the heroes who shaped it. As we unravel the intricate threads of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we encounter a spectrum of emotions that color the narratives. Beyond the battles and boasts, these verses delve into the inner landscapes of heroes' hearts. We witness their moments of doubt, grief, and longing, unveiling a vulnerability that contrasts with their outward displays of strength. The theme of exile and displacement, often depicted in the poetry, carries profound resonance. The sense of longing for one's homeland, the ache of separation, and the search for belonging evoke a universal human experience that transcends time and culture. These emotions serve as conduits that bridge the chasm between the distant past and our contemporary lives. The role of women in heroic poetry extends beyond queens and lovers. The figures of hostesses and peace weavers, such as Hildeburg in The Finsburg Fragment, reveal the complex ways in which women navigated their roles within a society defined by war and alliances. These women, often caught in the currents of power politics, add depth to our understanding of gender dynamics. The poetic depictions of feasting and celebrations offer insights into the sensory experiences of the time. The descriptions of sumptuous meals, flowing mead, and communal revelry evoke a tapestry of sights, 
sounds, and flavors that transport us to the heart of these gatherings. These scenes not only celebrate camaraderie but also illuminate the importance of shared rituals in cementing social bonds. The heroic poetry's exploration of grief and mourning is a testament to the rawness of human emotions. Elegies like, The Wife's Lament, and, The Ruin, capture the ache of loss and the weight of sorrow. These elegies, with their haunting refrains, resonate as laments that traverse time, encapsulating the universal experience of grappling with the ephemeral nature of life. The concept of honor in Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is a multifaceted prism that refracts the ideals of courage, loyalty, and integrity. However, honor is not a monolithic concept, it is negotiated and defined within the context of the hero's individual journeys. The pursuit of honor, both personal and communal, offers a window into the moral compass that guided their actions. The poetic descriptions of battle, often vivid and visceral, evoke the chaos and intensity of combat. The imagery of clashing swords, splintering shields, and the cries of warriors creates a sensory immersion that transports us to the front lines. These descriptions not only capture the physicality of battle but also reveal the psychology of warriors in moments of strife. The hero's relationships with the natural world are not merely ornamental, they reflect an intricate interconnectedness. The symbolism of animals, trees, and landscapes mirrors the hero's states of mind and emotions. The imagery of nature becomes a conduit for expressing their joys, fears, and aspirations, enriching the tapestry of the verses. In our journey through Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we encounter not only the external battles but also the internal ones that shape the hero's identities. These battles, the struggle for honor, the search for purpose, the reconciliation of conflicting loyalties, underscore the multidimensionality of heroism and invite us to contemplate our own inner conflicts and quests. As we immerse ourselves in the depths of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we traverse a landscape where human emotions, aspirations, and complexities converge. These verses are not merely narratives, they are portals that transport us to a realm where heroes confront the deepest fears, forge unbreakable bonds, and grapple with the profound questions that define the human experience. In our exploration of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we uncover layers of resilience that define the hero's journeys. The challenges they face, monstrous adversaries, political turmoil, and existential uncertainty, mirror the tribulations of the human condition. Through their trials, we glimpse the indomitable spirit that drives them forward, an enduring testament to the human capacity for perseverance. The concept of honor, intricately woven into the fabric of heroic poetry, is not only a personal virtue but also a communal bond. The hero's pursuit of honor is a pact with their kin and lord, a promise to uphold the ideals that bind their society. This collective commitment to honor underscores the interdependence that sustains their world. The heroic poetry's portrayal of weaponry and combat techniques offers insights into the artistry of warfare. The descriptions of swords, spears, and armor are not mere ornamentation, they embody the craftsmanship of a society that valued both functionality and aesthetics. These details provide a window into the material culture that shaped the hero's identities. The motif of transformation and rebirth is a recurring theme in heroic poetry. Heroes often emerge from trials changed, having undergone a metamorphosis that shapes their identities and destinies. This theme resonates as a reflection of the human capacity for growth and adaptation in the face of adversity. The portrayal of kinship in heroic poetry extends beyond blood ties, it encompasses the bonds of camaraderie and brotherhood forged on the battlefield. The hero's loyalty to their fellow warriors underscores the sense of unity that arises in the crucible of conflict, revealing the power of human connection even in the most dire circumstances. The heroic poetry's use of riddles and enigmas adds an element of mystery and playfulness to the narratives. These intellectual challenges not only showcase the hero's wit and intelligence but also provide moments of respite amid the turmoil of battles and quests. The interplay of riddles and heroic feats reflects the multifaceted nature of heroism. The role of the supernatural in heroic poetry extends beyond monstrous adversaries, 
it delves into the realm of prophecy and divination. The hero's encounters with seers and visions offer a glimpse into their beliefs in fate and the influence of the divine. These moments of mystical insight underscore the hero's sense of being part of a larger cosmic order. Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry is a mosaic that reflects the ebb and flow of cultural dynamics. The influence of historical events, such as Viking invasions, can be discerned within the verses. These historical echoes remind us that the poetry is not a detached creation but a product of its time, shaped by the currents of history and society. The heroic poetry's exploration of identity is not limited to individual heroes, it extends to the very fabric of Anglo-Saxon society. These narratives serve as a mirror that reflects the collective identity, values, and aspirations of a people navigating the complexities of their world. Through their struggles and triumphs, the heroes become conduits for preserving and shaping cultural identity. In our journey through the expanse of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry, we encounter a symphony of themes, emotions, and ideas that resonate through the ages. These verses invite us to stand shoulder to shoulder with heroes who faced adversity with unwavering resolve, reminding us that within the echo of their footsteps, we find echoes of our own quests, battles, and the enduring spirit that unites humanity across time. This is all for now. For more videos of English poetry subscribe the channel.